Today's Video Minute is brought to you by the Cincinnati Insurance Companies, your KDA endorsed provider for professional liability and business owners' lines of insurance. For more information, contact Chris Boyle at Johnston Fiss Insurance Agency. I'm Executive Director Kevin Robertson, and this is a KDA Video Minute for Friday, March 1st. Well, the Kansas legislature is taking its turnaround break, meaning all its bills had to be out of their house of origin. So, for example, a House bill had to be out of the House, a Senate bill had to be passed by the Senate in order to keep that alive. Now, having said that, there are certain bills that have been exempted and are still alive and active, even though maybe they haven't passed one or either of the houses. So earlier this week, we sent out a legislative action alert on House Bill 2307. Now, that's a bill that has to do with dental insurance, dental benefit plans. It has to do with non-covered services. So what we're doing is we are amending the definition of a covered service so that it would include uh, a a dental benefit plan that would cover a variety of services with a de minimis or a very small reimbursement rate. We haven't been seeing that in the state of Kansas, but we have seen that in other states as a way that insurance companies have sort of gone around and used that as a loophole to continue to dictate the cost or the fees that a dentist can charge uh, uh, under their insurance plans when, they're, when those dentists are in network. So we did, we were successful in getting that bill out of committee. It's on the House floor. The legislature went ahead and adjourned sort of a day early. They did um, uh, take, take a legislative action to uh, make that bill so it's exempt from that deadline that we just talked about. So it's still active. So we hope that next week we'll be able to get that bill uh, up for debate and have action on it so we can get that over to the Senate. So continue to talk to your legislators. They will be home until uh, uh, Wednesday the 6th, so there's a little bit of a break here with this turnaround, legislative turnaround, they call it the turnaround break. So uh, Monday and Tuesday, the legislature is not in session. Those folks out of state will still be home, so give them a call, send them an email, let them know that you support House Bill 2307. Of course, there's a few other issues that we've been taking a look at and, trying, and following and, and pushing this legislative session. One has to do with uh, K-TRAX funding out of the state general fund. That is still something that we're working on. There was a, there is a bill that has to do with the corporate practice of medicine. That bill did not come out of committee. However, uh, there is an attempt to try to reach some sort of a compromise on that particular piece of legislation. So something still could move forward uh, this legislative session. In addition to that, there's a bill that has to do with association health plans. That is really important to us so that would allow an association like us to have a fully insured health plan, association health plan, that we could offer to our members. That bill came out of committee. It's another one of those bills that's still in, uh, in the House, on the House floor, though there's been no action yet. It also is now exempt, so it is still active and alive, and we would like to get that moving uh, as well. And we're still talking uh, to specific legislators about the possibility of increasing uh, uh, Medicaid reimbursement rates. So that's a, another ongoing issue that we continue to push on behalf of our members. Of course, we all know that the Midwest Dental Conference is coming up in a couple weeks. KDA has some activities. We've talked about those before, Real World Transition Brunch, our annual meeting. Hey, stay, stay tuned to those and please register. We look forward to seeing you here in a few weeks in Kansas City. With that, I'm going to wrap this session of the KDA Video Minute.